Hello everyone, welcome to Bio Learning Point and I am Priya Misra. So in this video tutorial, I will be discussing about my common mistake during my first attempt of CSR examination. So basically I will discuss five mistakes uh, which I already did uh, during my examination. So you should avoid this. So CSR net preparation demands utmost hard work and dedication. So a proper preparation strategy is a must to clear the examination with flying colors. So first of all, uh, we will be discussing that uh, uh, five mistakes that is uh, you should avoid during your preparation for the CSR net. So starting your preparation late and no revision. So one of the primary mistakes most aspirants make is starting their preparation very late. So I also uh, starting my preparation. I started my pre preparation very late uh, when I filled my application form then i starting uh, preparation for the examination so this was uh, my very first mistake and uh, thinking they will make up to the time but uh, it is not easy and it is not uh, hard and fast rule that uh, we will clear this examination in very less time so uh, but uh, thinking they make uh, up to the time but csr net preparation involve a Dyer need to adopt a systematic approach to ensure the syllabus in a covered in time. So, a syllabus completion is a very important thing in CSI examination. So, in a very few time, you can't uh, complete entire syllabus of CSI net examination. Uh, if you are from physical science or any of the stream of uh, CSI net examination, so so you already know the syllabus of CSI examination is very vast. So, you can't clear. Uh, that week syllabus in a very uh, less uh, time so first of all for the better understanding and clarity of the subject matter one should prepare a full flash timetable so first of all you have to uh, you have to prepare a timetable that means your routine how much you will uh, complete this topic how much uh, how uh, we will uh, complete this topic so this will uh, uh, this will help a lot uh, during your preparation and during your examination so this is the very important thing and uh, after that uh, this will ensure timely preparation and enough time for revision so it is essential to note that revision is equally critical to the preparation so you if you can't revision uh, if you uh, you should re revise entire thing uh, suppose that if you complete a uh, topic in one week so you have to revision uh, revise this topic at the end of this week because revision is must if you can't revise this to, uh, any any of the topic so you can't able to solve the question from this topic so this is the very important thing and moreover focus on quantitative preparation rather than a qual uh, you uh, moreover you should uh, focus on the qualitative property not quantitative so uh, that means you should have to prepare a quality uh, content that means uh, suppose that you covered uh, three units but your three units is not qualitative but that means you uh, you can't uh, solve the question of any any one of the units so this is the not a quant uh, qu quantitative preparation you should have to prepare qualitatively so this is the very important thing and repeatedly revised that has been studies so very first thing i have discussed and second very important thing is preparing the exam without a plan of the action so uh, for any examination you have a clear plan so how you uh, prepare these topics how you uh, complete this topic so this is the very important thing so it is extremely challenging to qualify the csi net examination unless you have a proper preparation strategy so without an action without a proper uh, preparation uh, strategy you cannot attain the desired outcome so this is the very important thing i think and this is the uh, so people uh, forget this point and start preparation and they uh, they have no not a clear plan and yeah, they are studying uh, rather than there. So this is a very important thing. So today most aspirants make general, uh, generalization uh, that lead to lack of understanding. So this is this you have to must you have to uh, think during your preparation. So first and foremost avoid the search of a shortcut. So 
you know csr is a big examination and syllabus is very uh, vast so no shortcut for clearing is this examination so clear this examination in 5 minutes clear this examination in 60 days so this is not possible in any way so you have to uh, a clear cut plan clear cut strategy to clear this examination so focus on highlighting important concept and fundamentals for future reference so suppose that uh, tomorrow i have uh, made a uh, yesterday i uploaded a video regarding uh, from which topic the part c question come every year so this is the fundamental thing that means question come from this topic so you have to prepare that particular topic in proper manner that does that does not mean ki uh, if you uh, complete the entire thing that i mentioned in yesterday video we will clear the examination so success has not shortcut and csr has no any shortcut so a smart strategy is uh, needed a smart uh, preparation is needed for the csr preparation so lack of practice and mock test third important thing is i have also uh, faces this problem because <clears throat> i never uh, practice lots of question i uh, during my, my first attempt so that's why i'm sharing uh, these things with you so practice makes perfect uh, you already hear this sentence so this is the perfect sentence and uh, you should have to prepare and practice all of the things that you study is during your uh, preparation so this it is always hold true not solving previous year papers and mock papers is another mistake most aspirants commit and i already committed this mistakes because when you can't solve the previous year paper or mock test how you know which type of question they asked in examination so how how can you able to clear this examination so you have to clear this examination with uh, solving of lots of paper when i clear this examination i have solved 11000s of questions so you think i solved 11000s of part b and part c total questions so you also have to solve that much of question because when you solve this much of question you uh, know which type of question they asked in examination and when you uh, enter the examination hall and when you open the examination every question will be familiar to you uh, you think are uh, that th this question i have also solved in my during my mock during a uh, previous year solving question so that means easy uh, you find during your examination so this is the very important thing and uh, by solving this papers candidates get well versus with the paper pattern and typical question that we that are asked every year so which i mentioned earlier and moreover it helps to rest and analyze your performance and weaknesses suppose that you uh, you gave a mock test and you uh, scored a less number of marks suppose you scored only 50 marks only 60 marks during your first mock so you have a clear idea ki which topic of your is weak and which topic we, uh, your has strong and how much time you have to give in a particular topic so this is the very important thing for analyzing the concept for analyzing the paper you have to give more and more mock test and you have to solve more and more question paper so i think this uh, uh, these things will be very helpful to you next thing is not studying the paper pattern correctly so what type of question they are asking ex examination so you have a clear idea about part a strategy part b strategy and part c because part a is a uh, general aptitude question so for part a you have a clear uh, a strategy plan part b uh, they asked part b is a very you know multiple choice question for uh, one liner question and if you know then you can solve if you don't know you can skip the you uh, you have no any other option rather than this so you have a clear idea about part b clear a strategy about part b ki how you attempt paper in examination for the part b and after that the part c you have other other strategy so for the different parts you have a clear strategy plan so this is the very important thing so most candidates fail to understand the paper pattern they either focus on only descriptive or only objective questions so that i mentioned in uh, my earlier uh, uh, earlier line so but both deserve equal importance and ignoring any topic can cost your marks in the examination so i think this things is very important and uh, and time for the action so first of all use uh, 
you should sit at least for three hours uh, while solving the mock test because this will be very helpful for your examination time i hope uh, that means uh, i shared with you which things this will be very helpful for your preparation and if you have any type of doubt please mention in comment section i will try to resolve your doubt thank you so much guys for watching this video and for uh, connecting with us thank you so much again